we're just kind of trying to set up a game plan here where we can get as many people as possible. So we're going to try to just separate here just a little bit and we can, uh, we can bottleneck these groups on these open fields here. It doesn't take long before the suspects make a run for it, through the brush and right into an open field. Texas Border Patrol agents pursue a group of suspected illegal immigrants. I have to pick your battles there. I actually pick the one that runs them all. Son of a gun. What the mouse? Parte. The pie. There's still bodies all around us. Here you go, take this guy. We've got bodies running all over the place. Agents need to act quickly to catch the others. They may try to run to the nearby Rio Grande River and escape back to Mexico. If any of them makes it into the river, the chase is over. A bird's in the air now, I believe. I can hear him. The air unit, or Omaha, as the agents say, is close. That's Omaha right there. He's got his big uh, spotlight on. Equipped with thermal imaging cameras, the helicopter crew can guide the agents from above to the suspects hiding on the ground. What he does, he sees the high spots to confirm whether it may be a rock or a body. That way, he's not wasting our time. It makes it a little more efficient. This guy was uh, the original guy that we were chasing, actually. Manos atrás, manos atrás. Yeah, copy, we need those mobile units. Hmm? This young man may have invested his or his family's life savings to come here. Some people pay smugglers thousands of dollars to be guided across the border. With more than 40% of the population living below the poverty line, being a guide in Mexico is good money. I, I, I did see the guide running north of the group. They always like to separate themselves. They avoid trying to get apprehended. Tonight, the guide abandoned the group. Getting caught is not good for business. Agents catch seven people, all of whom appear to be illegal immigrants, not drug mules. That's it. That, I did a thorough 360. I couldn't find anything. The men are brought to the station, fingerprinted and processed. Five of the men will serve jail time for making illegal entry more than once. The others will be deported to their home countries. The ATV shift is over. Good job, guys. For agents, the work is nonstop. Hundreds of people attempt to cross the Rio Grande every day. 